you stop jumping. Anyway, Artist Shadow here, and welcome back to Crush Crush. Last time we. Well, hold on. We met Eva! And we didn't really get anywhere with Luna or Pam or anyone really. Although off screen I was able to finish Bonnabelle. And then I accidentally got Ayano to the next level without actually showing it. It totally slipped my mind. I didn't realize that I didn't get that far with her yet. I, so I kind of overdid it. So I can't I can't exactly show you that, but I mean considering I have to reset the game anyway, I can go back and show you that stage again. It just won't be new to the game itself. But that's not the problem here. And then I was going to actually try to finish off Nina until I realized, oh hey, this is gonna take forever. Need a wingwoman tonight? Alright, I'll go pick up a new cocktail dress and some peas. Yeah, so she's a at about 18%, so I guess I just gotta flirt with her some more and then she'll be ours, so I guess I'll go ahead and do that now, and I will see you once I'm done. I was going to go skinny the You must be a wizard, because you've got magic fingers. <laughs> okay, well, I believe we've already heard that line, but anyway, she's done. All I gotta do now. Oh dear, professional hazard. Turns out I'm starting to fancy ya! This is all part of your diabolical plan! <laughs> yes, it was. No, well, I didn't have a diabolical plan, but she doesn't have to know that. Well, hook, line, and sinker, you mangy charmer. Okay, Nina is in love with you. I know, something about a girl with glasses... Well, let's face it, there's a lot of things about a woman that I can find attractive. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, she's done, and she has a lot of freckles, and whatever that is, and so, since I got the swimsuit for her from one of the events... Ooh, looking to enforce a new dress code, boss? Well, far be it from me to argue with the head of the household. So we can go and see this outfit anytime we want to now. Although, I'm just gonna kind of leave her like that. Okay, well, that's it for Nina. And <laughs> as of now, I still haven't caught up with Bear for Day. Uh, let's see. Luna, not much has happened with her. Oh man, you just messed with the wrong sorceress! Don't call down the thunder unless you can handle the lightning! Yeah, since we need level 45 of the smart hobby, and I'm on level 44, but as you can see, we would have to wait 15 hours and 18 minutes to actually do that. Oh, and then I guess, if you had noticed, I actually went ahead and gilded all of the hobbies. I haven't done all the jobs yet, mostly because I don't have enough. Anyways, let's see. Can we get anywhere with Eva? My injuries appear to have mended. You do not need to continue hanging out with me out of pity. Okay, well, she's actually almost... Well, <laughs> if you can say 39% is almost, but... I mean, she's almost there, kind of. At least compared to how she is later on in the game. Uh, let's talk to her, I guess. I must report to command. I am likely stranded here and of no more use to them. Really? That's kind of sad. <laughs> so it's like, in a sense, they're almost kind of expendable to command. Also, Never mind, I just got her from 39 to 74. Okay, well, 
It appears Mega Zero went berserk. How unfortunate. I hope she can be repaired. Yeah, hopefully. Ouch. I guess that rib is still broken. Okay, I think that's about all she has to say. So I guess let's move on. I don't have friends. I'm not sure what process is involved in validating such relationships. But are we friends? Mm-hmm. That puts me at ease. Thank you for your kindness. No problem, my dear. Okay, friends on with Eva. Man, here she is all cute and happy to throw the flowers. Okay, yeah, I'm, s I'm sorry, I just... I don't know why I get tempted to do that. Alright, well... Uh, let's see... Okay, I guess let's take her out on a moonlight stroll. 25 of them to be exact. <laughs> Another sort of reference to Neon Genesis Evangelion. <laughs> There's a fork in the moon! Okay, well, I guess... Meet you right back. I never thought a quiet walk could make my heart beat so fast. Oh, look at her, she's blushing. And also, yeah, that pretty much did nothing according to the the affection meter. And this is kind of a problem I have with Eva. This is just the friend zone level. Imagine all the others. Like, I mean, I think I'm at the crush level with her in my other game. But it took forever just to get her to that, and she's still not even halfway done with that. I think she's at 1.1% on that, and I left it going for I don't know how long. Overnight, for how many days. So, yeah, she takes forever, and that's really my only complaint. Otherwise, she doesn't ask you for any gifts, at least from my memory, I don't think she does. She just wants you to take her out on the dates. She doesn't take any diamonds. She just... Take her out on dates, fill up her affection meter, and she's done. The other girls, however, yeah, not so much. And right now, Luna is going to be the most expensive one we have. If I can ever get anywhere with her. So, yes, I guess for now, there's almost not much I can do here. I feel a growing closeness with you and other organic life. I wonder if our biologies are compatible. Well then, okay, well, <laughs> yeah, there's a joke in there, but I'm not going to make it. Well, let me see, can I even give her... Uh, she wants a thousand necklaces. Perhaps you do not realize this, but the object you endowed me with is grounds for summary execution on my world. Just FYI. And like I pointed out before, we're not on your world, are we? I find myself in a better frame of mind when you're around. Delight comes more easily. Do you experience similar emotional stability? Yes, I do. Although, right now, my emotional stability is kind of not stable because you're, like, pulling down your sweater thing, and let's just say yes. Well, I'm going to have to find a way to synthesize it, or just figure out a way how to keep you around me more. <laughs> okay then, well, let's see, friend zone with Daria. And there she is, looking all super beautiful. And for some reason, the flowers kind of remind me of rupees. You know, from Legend of Zelda. Except, these are like, pentagon shaped, they're not hexagon shaped. Okay, well... We need to have all hobbies at level 50. 
and as you can see, I'm kind of not even close to that. Oh well. Um, I guess for now let's take her out on a moonlight stroll. And she's probably the most dazzling out of all the girls we have so far. Just look at her, she's shining. Okay, well. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I guess I'll meet you back here when I'm done. Next time, maybe I'll take you to the moon for a brief sojourn. Okay, well, <laughs> good luck with that one. Okay, and... Yeah, also, as you can see, we didn't really make a dent in the affection meter. And that's going to be another problem with Daria, now that I think about it. She's kind of in the same boat where her affection meter takes forever to actually fill up if you're just going off of leaving it overnight or whatever. But in addition to that, you have to guild all the hobbies and jobs. You still need to take her out on dates, and she will ask you for some of the most expensive gifts. Like for example, in my main game, the point I have her at right now, she wants 10,000 cars. And, you know, even though in that game I'm making a crap ton of money, it's still not enough to get her 10,000 cars. It was barely enough to get her 2,000 cars. So, yeah. It's like, Daria is going to be very expensive. But anyways, I guess let's talk to her a little bit. See what she says. I have just recently learned of the High Five. Let us partake in one! Okay. <laughs> and you know, that kind of reminds me of the way Starfire talks. You know, in the 2003 Teen Titans show. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, we just need Starfire's voice actress to say this. I'm still trying to figure out how you work. Could you please explain what the buttocks is for, and why it haunts me so? Well... <laughs> well that's... that's a story for another day. <laughs> My body is a holographic projection made of hard light. Is yours the same? It doesn't seem particularly hard. Okay, and yeah, this was what I was talking about. You know, no. The first half of episode 18, I believe. So yeah, she is pretty much uh, a huge reference to the Steven Universe gem characters. Let us converse on matters of importance, such as politics, philosophy, or the excess biomatter of celebrities. Okay. <laughs> When you say excess biomatter, do you just mean their weight and whatever? <laughs> I just realized you exist in a binary sexual paradigm expressed through a gender spectrum. Your kind must bicker a lot, but have amazing copulation rituals. Okay. Well, <laughs> I guess if movies and TVs... Movies and TVs... <laughs> I guess if movies and TV shows are anything to go off of... Yes! This is actually kind of true. <laughs> so, what do organic life forms do for fun? On my homeworld, our recreational activity is to engage in interactive games that mostly play themselves. So basically what I am doing right now. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> another fourth wall break for you. Okay, well, she doesn't really say anything else. And there's really not much I can do about this. Not for a long while. So... Yeah, I... I don't know. <laughs> well, either way though, I am most likely going to reset the game. Since... I'm kind of at a standstill with all of them. And I've been thinking about it, and I think eventually I will decide to take it over to my main file, just because a lot more of it is done 
mark there. Like I think my multiplier there is like 650 something. Here it's only 174 something. So, but I mean, I'm still gonna at least try and see how far I can go with this file. So, I'm not gonna jump ship just yet, but I guess that is gonna be a heads up. So what I'll probably do is I'll reset the game and then I'll go to a point in that file where I also need to reset the game and then I'll just catch back up to more or less where we left off. And I already kind of made a few notes to myself, especially about Ayano, concerning that. So, not much else I can do, but before I do that... Oh, okay. <laughs> the movie job. Before we do that, I think I'm just going to go ahead and start gilding the jobs. And I don't know if I explained it before, but supposedly it stays with you once you actually reset. Hopefully that's true. I haven't actually proved this to my, for myself yet. But I mean, it probably should. Okay. And... Oh. And... Yeah. I'm down to one diamond. <laughs> okay. Well. I guess... If I'm able to get through with Daria again, then I should be able to eventually guild to this one, but... Spoiler alert! This is pretty much the most worthwhile job out of all of them. This one, it gives you a lot of money, but not as much as this one. <clears throat> and really, about the only thing you need it for, at least right now that I'm aware of, is just finishing off with Alpha. But anyways, yeah, so... I think I am gonna have to reset the game here. So, I guess with that in mind, I'm Ardred Shadow, thanks for watching, and this has been Crush Crush. I'll see you all next time, and hopefully it'll go better. See you later.